Hello everyone, it's me Chevy from Enic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to play the white and black piano keys using computer keyboard. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, before proceeding, I would like to mention you that I have already created a uh, pianos by which you can play using a computer keyboard. So, if you want to check those videos, you can check the video descriptions and how to install or add the BST files or the BST musical instrument plugins in the respective piano softwares. I'm also leaving that video in the video description so you can check on the video descriptions. So I'm not going to show that part and how to get the software also it's already being given in the video description so you can check the older video descriptions. So here in this video tutorial I'll just focus on how to play the white and black piano keys using computer keyboard so here I'll be using a software name as free piano you can use uh, everyone piano also the tricks will remain the same so you can see this default user interference right so below you can see a piano keys so by using a computer mouse it's very easy to play each key right but it does not mention in the keyboard system so you can see here so how to play those only black keys or how to play only the white keys so let me just type so you can see it's not playing in the proper manner so how you can do this so for this you need to do some settings so first let me discuss about the black keys right so you can see this is the black keys so this is a full size 88 keys keyboard so how to play from starting to the beginning all the black keys so for this you can select any keyboard case say I will selecting this one right you can select from here also you can select from any side but the process will remain the same so what will be the value that is you have to set to play this key right so for this just you can select any key I already mentioned you again you can select here also here also whichever you like so I'm just selecting this key and I'll just right click on it and what I will do here I will set a value to 6 right and after that I'll just put a I'll just add try to add one more dot here you can see right now it's three dot in the downward directions right so I'll just try to increase it to the 4 so minus 4 means in the bottom line and if you increase add the plus 4 then it will go in the upper upper side so if you put a zero you will just only the number six so I'll just add a minus four so six and four dots will be in the bottom or the downward direction so after that you need to add a hash so let's try to play this key so when you press the that respective key say this key indicates a shift key in my computer keyboard so when I press the shift key so it will press the this black key that is the first black key and what about the next black key so for the next black key say I will be selecting this one you can select any keys I have mentioned you again so I'll just right click on it here again and here same thing you need to do like put a hash and here is only two dots right so you need to give here three dots So let us try to play so you can see and what about the third so you can do the same thing again serially and here we'll be using this one I'll just selecting this again click on hash and I'll put the I'll increase one more three dots downward direction so for this I'll just select minus three and let us play this so we are done so and uh, what about this the fourth one so for the fourth one, we'll be just selecting here and we'll just put a value 4 here and we'll give one more dot in the downward directions 3 and put a hash so let us try to play now we can use the computer keyboard also so let me press from the zip serially so you can see now you can keep continuing again 
what about the next so we will just keep on doing adding 5 adding 5 and we will just increase so after 4 5 and again we will give it to the 6 and minus 3 hash so let us try to play so after the 6 you need to do the same thing here like you need to make it 1 again and now you need to keep this dot to two dots will be in the bottom line and again just keep a hash so you can see and after that next will be continued like the earlier so for your easy reference I'll be just giving you this chart so you can see here a chart for the black case as like you can see here which I have prepared already myself so you can see for the black case you can just look at this picture and you can set depending upon your needs so I'll not delay you or make you feel bored by showing you one by one so you can see the picture and you can customize all the keys depending upon your needs to play all the black piano keys so here even you can see the white piano key settings so let us check practically how we can check so you can see here in the black piano keys we don't use a number three here you don't see any number three rest you can use from one to six and in the white piano keys we'll be using one two seven all the numbers so let's try to customize the white piano keys so you can see this is the first right so for this what you need to do is just remove the you can uh, just put a number six we don't need hash here right will not be using a hash sample here okay so we'll just select the six and what we'll do we'll put the four dots in the bottom line that means minus four so you can see so let us play this so this is the first and on the second step we'll just select the number seven and we'll just give a four dots in the down direction to play the next white key and after that We'll just select the one and we'll give try to give the three dots. So you can see. So you can see the chart back again, which I have shown you here. And see here six, seven, one. So you can see if properly six and seven will be having uh, four dots, and after that one is having three dots, two is having three dots. So you can keep on going. It's like the tune will be like from low tunes to the high high higher highest like that no you can see in the black tunes also similarly the tones will be from the low to high higher highest so in the similar manner you can just customize the black and white keys depending upon your needs and you can play your respective songs very easily using your computer keyboard so if you find any difficulty in understanding this look at this chart which i have met myself for my viewers so you can download the chart also i'll be leaving this chart download link in the video description so you can download this picture file for your easy reference and if you find any difficulty still in understanding or using this video tutorial feel free to leave your comments below i'll try my best to help and guide you with your problems so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching